talk about Stanford for a second. Um, we, we, last month, we marked the 10, 10th year anniversary of the, the Stanford Ponzi scheme, the second largest, unfortunately, that, uh, that we've sustained. Most of the investors, as you know, Mr. Chairman, were, were mom and pop investors. Uh, they couldn't afford to lose the money. I know you have emphasized Main Street investors and the protection of them in, uh, in, in your work at the SEC. Uh, what, what role, if any, does the SEC have in overseeing the fees charged by the receiver? The fees are up to $224 million, and I don't want to begrudge anybody a living wage, but, but uh, we ha they haven't recovered as much as I had hoped. Let me say this. We, we, we have a role here um, that I think is pretty broad. Uh, there's a lot of other cooks in the kitchen yeah. and responsible people, including a court that's overseeing uh, the receivership and how this, how this takes place. Um, but again, in the, in the interest of being clear and perhaps too blunt, the outcome here is unacceptable. Yeah. And, you know, you have situations where people clearly take risks. I, I mentioned, maybe we'll talk about ICOs. You use your credit card to buy some offshore ICO outside the United States on the back of, uh, you know, an Internet empty promise. Hopefully you know you're taking the risk. The Stanford victims were not at all in that situation. They, there were all the indicia of a well-thought-out, legitimate, secure investment, including lots of large institutions and government agencies in the mix, yet their recovery is anemic. Um, we should learn from that at the very least. Well, I, I, don't, I know the SEC has been very supportive. Um, um, we had hoped that the SPIC would, SPIC would cover these uh, losses. I know the SEC filed suit to try to to uh, get a judgment to that effect. Um, you lost, we lost. Mm -hmm. I don't want to imply that the SEC hasn't been very cooperative. You have. But but I will be having some conversations with you about what we can do to review some of the fees being charged and, and to help us uh, recover as much of this money as we can. I didn't mean to imply by my question that the SEC hadn't been with us all the way, because I know we've talked about it. You've been very supportive. 